Why, hello, hello. This is Mr. Avery, your favorite earth science teacher. Wanted to share with you uh, how to do the density gizmo for you real quick. Uh, so let me share a screen with you real quick. And we're gonna talk about the density gizmo. So the first thing it's gonna ask you is uh, when you open, it's gonna be inside Canvas. So go to Canvas, open the density gizmo quiz. And it says to complete these questions, you will need to open a gizmo in Explore Learning. So to get to this uh, gizmo, you need to log on to your Clever page using your student credentials. So log on to Clever and it's assigned to you in, in Clever. So you click the Clever logon and you've got to click Explore Learning inside there and then find the density uh, gizmo. Uh, and so I'm asking you to do is, once you get to here, uh, the density gizmo, the main questions I want you to answer are inside Canvas. So I have 10 questions for you to answer inside Canvas as a Canvas quiz. Uh, and so you click the Clever logon, you get to this gizmo, and it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have um, a ping pong, a golf ball, a toy soldier, an apple, a chess piece, a penny, an egg, a rock, a gold nugget, a gold crown and a gold crown two, right? Remember we talked about density. So you gotta calculate the volume, which is what this graduated cylinder is for and, and the water. And uh, you have to uh, calculate its mass. In this case, you're just gonna put it on a scale. So this is the gizmo, what it looks like. Let's look at the first question. First question says, in the gizmo, drag the apple to the scale. The scale measures mass. Mass is the amount of matter or stuff in an object. What is the apple's mass? And so this is pretty simple. So you take the apple and you're gonna drag it to the scale. And 33 grams. So I kind of gave you the first one. Don't be confused by milliliter, that's volume. I'm asking for grams, so there it is. Uh, question two, the volume is the amount of space it takes up. So the volume of an object is measured using a graduated cylinder. Uh, observe the graduated cylinder in the blue text showing the volume inside the cylinder. What is the volume of the apple? The volume of the apple. So the apple, and now I gotta put it in the graduated cylinder. So it was 400, right? It went up to 444. So 444 minus 400 is 44 centimeters cubed. So 44 centimeters uh, cubed. But in this case, uh, it's going to be milliliters, not centimeters cubed. So we just went up milliliters. So 44 milliliters. So maybe we talked about whether it'll sink or float. Uh, one thing you can do to sink or float is just Check it out. The egg sink or did it float? That sank pretty fast. Ping pong ball, you can do it that way. So that's gonna be your answers right there. Did it sink or float? And then just keep going. Uh, remember uh, the density of a chess piece? You've gotta get the, the mass and the volume and then divide it out. Calculate the density of a rock, mass divided by volume. Toy soldier, uh, apple, gold nugget, density of crown one. Now the question is which one is pure gold? That's a tricky question. Out of crown one and crown two, which one do you think is pure gold? So now you've got to figure out, you got to go Google, what is the density of pure gold? And get that answer and figure it out. So you should be able to calculate everything on this page and try your quiz. You have two tries at the quiz. Submit your answer one time. If you're not happy with your score, open it back up and try again. So any questions, just holler at me. Bye for now.